St. Patrick's Day. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. We'll see Pittsburgh facing Seattle. Tip-off goes to Seattle. Let's check out Pittsburgh's starting lineup. They've got Hunter. Monte Morris is out there with Zizic, and it's Forbes in at the two-guard spot. Now here's Powell. Six on the shot clock. Carter against Morris. And it's Carter missing. Here's Hunter. Pass to Morris. Down low. Umley with the steal. Carter, the pass to Barrett. Green taking his time here. Six to shoot. Seattle needs to get off a shot. The shot by Powell, no good. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Zizic. The shot misses. Seattle goes the other way with it. Powell, that's good. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Morris inside. Defended by Carter. And it's good for two. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. Barrett with the ball. Kicks to Powell. Bounce pass from Plumley. Carter outside. Now Plumley passes it to Powell. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Powell's got his second bucket of the night. Like the awareness there, Plumley quickly assesses his options and moves it. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Forbes dishes to Hunter. Pittsburgh working the ball around. And here's Morris for three. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Pass to Pop. Addition out to Barrett. Morris against Carter. He kicks it to Barrett. Powell for three. And it's Zizic with the rebound. And here is Hunter. And he uses the glass on the layup. Working his way for a high percentage look. That's just smart basketball. Man, that's a, a painted possession right there. A masterpiece, especially when the defense is not a... Now here's Powell. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And that's going to be a foul on Pittsburgh. Seattle shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Pop. Some changes for Seattle. Henson checked in for Plumlee. And it's Jackson in for Green. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Pittsburgh with the ball. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Trier. Dishes it to Hunter. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. In the corner, Powell with it. Out to Carter. On the wing, Jackson. There's the pass to Henson. Now here's Powell. Lock at six. Over Hunter. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Powell 
Bulls got eight. How about that shot? Not exactly something drawn up by the coaching staff. Here's Trier, guarded by Powell. Trier passes to O'Neal. Here's Bembry. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Changes for Seattle. Johnson, he's checked in for Barrett. Luwawu Cabarro comes in for Norman Powell. And Antonio Blakeney is subbed in for Carter. And Pittsburgh also making a switch. Richardson's checked in. And he's good on the second. Seattle leading by three. Here's Blakeney. He dishes it to Jackson. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Freer from long range. And it's Seattle with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Luau. And Wagner pulls it down. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Richards in the pass to Wagner. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. And out of bounds as Pittsburgh gains possession. Pittsburgh trails by three. Richards in the pass to Trier. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. No good. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Luwalu Cabrero kicks to Blakeney. For three. And no good on the last second attempt this time. Back right after this. And it's good to have you back with us as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day with more NBA action on 2K Sports. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Seattle. Guys? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Pittsburgh trails by three. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for Seattle. They've got Luwabu. Johnson is out there with John Henson. And there's Jackson, and it's Blakeney in at the point. Here's Luwawu after the basket by Pittsburgh on the other end. Over to the left wing. Here's Blakeney. That one drops for him. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Richardson outside. Feeds it to O'Neal. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Trier passes to Wagner. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Shot clock at six. Here's Trier. 
Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Blakeney. And he slams that one down. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That is exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and game is fully in their control. And it'll be Pittsburgh with their first time out of the game here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Substitution here for Seattle. Plumley is checked in for John Henson. Jermichael Green comes in for Johnson. Barrett's checked in for Justin Jackson. And it's Carter in for Antonio Blakeney. Over to the wing. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. And Forbes kicks to Hunter. Pass to Zizic. Here is Forbes. Morris outside. Offensive rebound. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Pass to Luau. Now, here's Barrett. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Hunter grabs the miss. Pittsburgh trails by five. The pass to Morris. Right wing. And Forbes kicks to Morris. Not going to fall. Starting off slow. He misses his first three from the floor. Carter right side. Tries a three. Can't hit that one. So Pittsburgh will take it the other way. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Pass to Green. Here's Luwabo. From deep. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. And Morris has got the ball here for Pittsburgh. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Here's Zizic. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got four rebounds in this game. And Luwawu gets it to go. Luwawu's got the lead up to eight now for Seattle. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Zizic passes to Forbes. And it's sent back by Plumley. Showing good shot blocking skills at times. Plumley gets all of that one. Carter kicks to Luwawu Cabarro. Barrett. And another three for Seattle. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. the basket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Seattle with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Carter, the pass to Barrett. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first half. Off target from outside. Pittsburgh trails by 9. Morris with the ball. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Zizic kicks to Forbes. That three off the mark. And it's Seattle with the ball. 
to the middle. Here's Plumley. It's stolen by Morris. Yeah, take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. And he makes good on the layup. Morris has got his first basket. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And so it's Seattle heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Checking out Seattle. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed, the joke they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, they're trailing in this game because they're shooting under 35%. Now, I've got to give a lot of credit to the defense, forcing the shooters off their spots and making them feel uncomfortable. But if someone takes something away from them, they have to be able to adapt. So they need a whole new game plan because right now they're in trouble. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Pittsburgh trails by seven. And Pittsburgh looking at who they've got out there. We've got Zizic. Morris is out there with Hunter. And it's Forbes in at the two. Here is Forbes. Five on the clock. No good on the shot. Great tee that time from Green. Let's it go. Barrett, no good. Barrett's gone one of four so far. Hunter dishes to Morris. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Morris has got the first basket of the third quarter for Pittsburgh. Seattle leading by five. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Powell kicks to Barrett. And it's Zizic with the rebound. Zizic has got four rebounds in this game. Hunter, the pass to Morris. A three ball. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Carter against Morris. Barrett. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. Barrett's got five. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Now a timeout called by Pittsburgh. Substitution here for Seattle. Henson checked in for Plumlee. 
Johnson comes in for Jermichael Green. Justin Jackson, he's checked in for Barrett. And Antonio Blakeney is subbed in for Carter. So Pittsburgh going with almost an entire new group here. Mo Wagner's checked in for Ante Zizic. Royce O'Neal comes in for Hunter. Andre Bembry's checked in for Bryn Forbes. And Alonzo Trier's subbed in for Morris. Here's Blakeney. Takes a three. And Wagner pulls it down. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Here's Bembry, guarded by Jackson. Bembry kicks to O'Neal. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Freer from long range. And again, it's Pittsburgh missing. One of five here, Kevin, to start the half. Their offense looks like it's shrinking right now. I'm not sure who was supposed to be guarding him. Ridiculous laps there defensively. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Passes it to O'Neal. Six on the shot clock. Pittsburgh needs to get off a shot here. Wagner can't hit. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. The shot by Powell, no good. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Hence in the pass to Blakeney. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Seattle shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Antonio Blakeney at the line for two. He misses the free throw. Luwawu is checked in for Seattle. And Pittsburgh also making a switch. Richardson's checked in. And the second free throw, good. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Trier. No points in the game yet for him. 13 feet away. And he gets the jumper to drop. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. Seattle leading by seven. Blakeney kicks to Johnson. Pass to Blakeney. Here's Luwum. It's deflected. Here's Bembry. A minute 42 left here in the third quarter. Here's Wagner. Seattle grabs the miss. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Luwawu. The shot comes out, so Pittsburgh will take it the other way. And the pass to Wagner. Here's O'Neal. Got a piece of it, and he gets it back. Richardson for three. A three-pointer is right on target. 109 left in the third quarter of the game. Blakeney passes to Henson. Outside Jackson. Baseline try. That one a little long. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Jackson's got seven points in the game. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Richardson with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Richardson against Jackson. Pass to Trier. Six to shoot. It's deflected. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Jackson kicks to Blakeney. A 
passes it to Luau. And again, Seattle with the triple. And so it's Seattle going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. We'll return shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, Greg, is peripheral vision. This is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Seattle leading by 10. Jackson is out there with Jermichael Green. Then there's Carter. Then it's Barrett, and it's Plumlee in at the five down low. That's the lineup in the game for Seattle. Here's Morris after R.J. Barrett's bucket. Richardson outside. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And so he hits the technical free throw. Norman Bowles checked in for Jackson. Pass to Morris. Over Carter. Morris, no good. Seattle with the ball. They lead by 11. Barrett, no good. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Here is Forbes. Down to five on the shot clock. Morris passes to Zizic. Over Plumley. No good from Zizic. That's one he knows he should have drained. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Now Barrett. Carter down low. Misses from short range. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Richardson, good. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now, here's Barrett. And a missed late. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Got that one up quick. Richardson's got five points in the quarter. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Carter finds Powell. And the dunk by Powell. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Now a timeout called by Pittsburgh. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Pittsburgh's head coach talked to his team during that timeout. He said, if we're going to pull this out, we have to do it as a team. We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Devin, back to you. Here's Zizic. Kicks to fours. Fires the three. Carter pulls it in. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Now, here's Barrett. Defense is right there, and it's Seattle with another. An effective mid-range score. Barrett excels at finding openings in the defense and capitalizing. Morris passes to Forbes, and Jamichael Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. against Carter. Teardrop shot. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Shot clock at five. Powell for three. Pittsburgh pulls it in. And here is Hunter. On the wing, Morris. To the left side wing. Now, here's Hunter. Back to Morris. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. O'Neill's check in for Pittsburgh. Seattle calls timeout. They're up by 10. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. chance to present our Jordan player of the game R.J. Barrett and I love that it's been a hard charging performance jump shots have been kind of an afterthought his main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong without his heroics here tonight this could have been a second straight loss for them but he was sensational and instead of a losing streak he may have them headed in the opposite direction now. And he gets it to go. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. Here is Forbes, guarded by Powell. O'Neill passes to Morris. It's the three-point bomb. Morris has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Pittsburgh. 130 left in the fourth quarter of this one. There at the pass to pop. 13 feet away. And it's good off the glass. Barrett's got eight points here in this quarter. Incredible night for Barrett. He scores in a multitude of ways, and he brings the effort on every possession. Here is Forbes out to the right wing. On the wing, Morris. Defended by Carter. Morris dishes to Forbes. Smile again. The shot will not fall. Seattle goes the other way with it. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for Seattle. 
You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And this will make it 21 victories for them on the year. No doubt they came in very motivated to win this one and finish the season series at a game apiece. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions and the nice night it ended up being for R.J. Barrett. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. So no problem for Seattle as they get the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.